pandemic, y'all. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Let's go! Father in the sky, I shed tears, I don't know why. But I'm a child of the most high, so they can't break me if they try. Father in the sky, I shed tears, I don't know why. But I'm a child of the most high, so they can't break me if they try. The curses, the plagues, is it all a dream? Nope. The curfew, the troops, the world's on quarantine Damn. The social, the six degrees of separation The troubles of Jacob, the need for preparation My vision is focused, I won't speed a rush And if there's hate in your blood, then you need a flush Yes, the priest is back, the most high be praised I'm making them sick, this song is 5G ways As real as they come, won't find no forgazy A man amongst men, so Gail and Oprah hate me and Jesus had warrants. Paul wrote letters to Corinth. And Esau is red. And Donald Trump is orange. The faces, the gestures that cat is so comedic. Corona, the virus, the places sent on Egypt. We were slaves, led away to other gods. I ain't preaching shy, I'm killing them with current bombs. Father in the sky, I shed tears, I don't know why. But I'm a child of the most high. So they can't break me if they try. The rich is the fame, is it all for Skrilla? The mask and the gloves so COVID doesn't kill you The panic, the fear, the news is so fallacious The Isley, the brothers, they say it's so contagious The doctors, the nurses, the need for ventilators The 1200 cash, they gave the stimulators the signs and the warnings, don't forget the scriptures Prevention and cure funded by special interests Still in the streets, surely Some say that he's worldly Flow is sick like why Takashi got released early The judges, the lawyers, they say there's no defense Season 8 Game of Thrones, cause it don't make no sense And that's the rundown, TV is saturated The fear is the push to get us vaccinated We were slaves, led away to other gods I ain't preaching shy, I'm killing them with current God. Father in the sky I shed tears, I don't know why But I'm a child of the most high So they can't break me if they try Father in the sky like I, said, I shed tears, I don't know this why This feels good But I'm a child of the most high So they can't and break me if they try hands. Maccabees TV, it's your brother Priest Dan, and I'm here with my brother, who don't need no introduction, but for those of y'all that's living under a rock, mm -hmm. my brother, introduce yourself, man. All right, I'm Captain Tazar Yekavaya, CBK under Commander Jenny Yohanna, here with my man Daniel Allah. Uh, caught me uh, off guard, but... My man wearing a shirt that says no sweat, but you just came from a gym! <laughs> Well, you know, no sweat is like something like when we brush somebody off or like no sweat could mean anything. I could be in agreement with you and say no. It's like con. Right, you know, right, right, say right. Con, con means yes or agree or something like that. But, right, right, right. You know, it's interchangeable. So no sweat. I went to the gym, no sweat. You know what I mean? But yes, sir. In the literal sense, I did sweat a little bit. So Hey family, so watch this, man. I gotta put Captain Tazariak on the hot seat, right? I know the the low uh the mantra for ISUPK is no cowards. Right. But family, I've been inviting Tazar Yak to the gym for a while. He's been ducking me, man. <laughs> well, 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 I got an answer for that. When uh, LA Fitness, the gym I go to, at first they wasn't accepting guests. But now they are accepting guests. Uh -huh. So whenever Daniel want to go up there, we can go up there. So now I'm on record. He's on record. So we'll see. Who's ducking who? All right, I'm not. Listen, let me just so you know, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not coming when you're doing back day. I see what you're pushing, man. <laughs> I'm going to come any nah, day but man, back no, day, bro. Nah, man. If I'm, if, number one, I rarely work out with people, but when I do work out with people, I just try to, you know, have a decent workout. You know, the scriptures say bodily exercise profited little, so I would never boast 
And I would hope nobody would ever boast, you know, when we working out, man. We just want to have a good workout. That's all. Right, right. So listen, real quick, before we get into what I really want to talk to you about, mm -hmm. we came here, man, because let's talk a little bit about Israelite business, man. You got a okay, business. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I got a business, right? right? And um, we decide we're going to exchange. Yeah. We're going to barter. I so mean, yeah, you yeah, ask, you needed something for me. Yeah. I always, you always want, I always want to smell good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I came over here and got me some oils. Yeah, man. And you got some ashwagandha and That's some right. testosterone boost, man. Real quick, talk about Israelite business and the importance of it, especially. I think the importance of Israelite business is like we always talk about, uh, you always hear the term black businesses and right. stuff like that. The thing about what I like about Israelite businesses is it's probably the, one of the most honest businesses that you can get into. Mm -hmm. What I mean by honest business is because Israelites keep the law. Our laws prevent us from defrauding one another. So you have to sell a garment a certain way. You have to sell clothing a certain way. You got to sell the ashwagandha a certain way. I got to sell my oils a certain way. So if I buy something from you, I ain't got to worry about it being no bullshit. Likewise, if you buy it from me, our laws prevent us from doing that. And when an Israelite sells something, it's like the whole nation supports that business. So when I started TLC, Tazari and Lily's Creations, 90 to 90, I would say 98% of my business is from Israelites. And I think that's a good thing. And so, and it shows the power of the dollar when we really deal with each other. That's so right. now y'all can support me, I can support you, and it just helps us grow like that. So Israelite business is important, so just make sure so y'all support Daniela's business, support my business, support all these brothers. You know, IHBK, our brothers make garments, headpieces, the baddest headpieces you can find. Make sure you support all the businesses that we have. So I think right. that's very important. Now, I know that you were saying that this is something you should definitely tout. As long as we're talking about it's like business. You got like five stars, right? Your uh, ratings I up there? I call myself the five-star king. Okay. If you go on the, the Etsy, if you go, that's about the only thing I could boast about. Right. If you go on the Etsy page, it'll tell you the sales we got, but it'll also tell you the reviews we got. Mm -hmm. And my reviews are pretty much all five-star. And I don't pay nobody to, to put them reviews up there. And you can put them up there. And if I can add, the other good thing about it, sometimes, especially with this whole COVID shit, what I want to shout out is the customers that are very patient with us. Because yeah. the post office, they get delays. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes they break it because the post office ain't the nicest people. Right, right, right. Even right. with, like, sometimes I put the fragile on the front and mm -hmm. the back of mm -hmm. the merchandise, and it still breaks. Mm -hmm. And the customers are patient with us. So, and we'll replace it for free. Right. We don't charge you if we got to send it back. And sometimes right. I'll throw in some extra depending on, you know, how it breaks. And that's the good thing about dealing with my people. Sure. I love to help them, and I'm satisfied that they'll support us. So I work with a lot of people like that, man. So shout out to the people that support Real quick, just plug it again. Where can they find your business they at? They can find it on Etsy.com. It's called, it's really Tazaryak and Lily's Creations, but the, I couldn't change the name again. So it's Tazaryak Creations on Etsy.com. All praise to the most yeah, for that. All right. That so what I really want to talk to you about, man, I was watching your channel, Cross the Line Radio, and you put a clip up that was a very beautiful clip. Mm -hmm. And in, in this environment in Israel, a lot of times there's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of going back and forth. Right. You know, people ask, what are the Israelites good for? What are we doing in our community? You hear all these questions, man. Right. And I watched the Cross the Line radio show, and I saw a clip up there that was absolutely excellent. And I think that the brother and the sister deserve this to be talked about mm -hmm. on every channel possible. Right. So I want you to talk a little bit about that clip that I saw on your channel, if you don't okay, mind. Okay, so now I went to Houston... Not last week, but the week before. I was there for like a week. And anybody that knows me and I should be K know I love the people down there in Houston. It's such a um, family-oriented location. Yeah. And so as I'm down there, I was, so I'm down there, I think it was like a Monday or Tuesday, and this officer out of yard is telling me this story. He's holding a baby. And so I'm, I'm thinking it's his. And you know, congratulating him or asking him about it. He said, nah. So he tells me the story. And so the story is, there was a sister that came into the school. She lived a wayward type of lifestyle. And when she came into the school, she was looking for some type of protection. She wanted to change. And so that's what Israelites is about, getting our brothers and sisters to change. So we teach her how to repent. And she was pregnant at the time. So as she's in there pregnant at the time, she had a home, but the home was kind of unstable. And so Officer Nashar Naposh and his rib allowed her to stay with them. Now, granted, they got 10 kids of their own and their family. So as big as their you know, family is, they still invited this sister to come in and stay with them. And the whole school would help her 
but help her with the with the pregnancy if she needed food if she needed help um you know preparing for her because the daddy she didn't know who the daddy was so the daddy's not around excuse me i shouldn't say she didn't know who the daddy was but the daddy was a pimp i believe wow okay. so he's you know way off so we're raising her and that child as a sister and soon to be son in the family and so she had the baby and when the baby came out the womb she said what is this she didn't even say like who is this or anything like this she said what is this and pretty much rejected that baby the time that it came out the womb but a shot in the pot in his rib is still taking care of that baby tending to the baby and one day in the middle of the night she gets up and say i don't want this baby i don't want to take care of this baby and she was actually going to leave with the baby and so a shot Posh's rib, I don't remember her name off top, I apologize, but a shot Posh's rib said, you can go, but you can't take the baby with you. We'll keep the baby and you go. And she agreed to it. And so they did it legally. They legally owned the baby or adopted the baby. And when I heard the story, it was amazing in a few things. Commander Jenny Hanna has always said, don't kill your baby, we'll adopt the baby. And Israelites is always making that mantra that we have the answer to black problems. And that's a black problem. That's a straight up and down black problem. A lot of women out here have frivolous sex. Mm -hmm. Men do it too. Mm -hmm. Have babies mm -hmm. and they abandon the babies. Whether mm -hmm. the father abandons or the mother aborts and stuff like that. And you don't have to do that. Because now we're the proof that we'll take that child, we'll raise that child up. I believe his name is Samson. Mm -hmm. um, we'll raise that child and bring him up the right way. And that story is what should go across the earth because we don't just talk it, we live it. And it reminded me, which you, which you brought to my mind, which I thought about then, of Officer Dawada in South Carolina when Nature Boy was beating the hell out of that sister and Dawada went, resurrected that sister, helped that sister get the son back, get the children back. And she's such a beautiful sister in the mm. school. She made garments. Oh, she's still in there? Yeah, she's still in the school. Still married to the brother. Make beautiful. She'll make the best garment that you could see. So she was able to come into that fold, marry that brother. That brother was able to resurrect her, heal her from the or, or torture that Nature Boy brought to her. So when we talk this, you know, you come in here, we'll change your life. It's not something that we're playing with. It's something that we will literally do. So, I mean, I thank them brothers, Ashar Naposh and Hit Rib, Dawada, what he does, and Commander Jenny Hanna and the leadership qualities from Commander Jenny Hanna to generals and captains on down, the leadership that we put inside these other brothers and sisters to do that. That's what Israelites should be remembered for. Like, all they want to talk about us, and you know this, all they want to talk about us is we screaming on them corners. But screaming on them corners is saving black and women's lives because as we're screaming on the corners, there's brothers and sisters that hear something in that and say, I need to change. And then they come in here and change. Or when you're in danger, you know you can go to them Israelites and get an answer. Even when black people want a real answer in the blackity black world, mm -hmm. they come to Israelites to get the answer. Sure. They don't go to no comedic cats. They don't have no answer. They don't go nowhere else. They come to us to get the answer because that's the only place you can get the answer. So that was an amazing story. We told that story twice on the radio show. I had told it in the beginning, mm -hmm. and the one that I made the clip out of is the one with Commander Jenny Hanna because he brought them both to the forefront and let them, you know, get their shine and get their glory for what they did because, again, they got 10 kids. Yes. Yeah. You got some people that got one kid won't do it. Yeah. So two kids, when they said they had 10 kids, so now they even took on an 11th child to raise from a baby on up. And here's the most important thing, what that child will know. Because a lot of times we look at our life stories. So like, let's say we grew up in a broken home or we might've been molested or in this case, he was abandoned. You might feel depressed growing up like that. But in reality, what you got to remember is if you're here, that means God wants you here and God has a purpose for you here. So now he'll be able to tell that story too. And he come up as a priest and prophet of the most high. Now his story will be able to resonate. So for all abandoned kids that feel like their life is over, now they ain't got to feel that way. So that's an amazing story. It really is. You could have ended up with, what's her name? Charlize Theron. She got them two little boys and yeah, both of them look like girls. Dressing like a girl. It's crazy, man. Imagine falling into white hands. Yep. You now they're they allowing mean? little uh, gay couples, gay yeah, male, white gay couples, couples to, to, to back. Uh, who knows what type what's of happening? Yeah, and that's man. Why we, it, all these black babies need to be with Israelites. 
And if you can do that, their life would be so much better, man. So that was an amazing story by Sean Napash. Maybe one day you'll have your shop, man. Maybe somebody will drop a baby. <laughs> Maybe somebody will drop a baby off for your yeah, I mean, doorstep. We'll take care of them. We'll yeah. raise them. We'll do whatever it is we got to do with them. I ain't say we. I said you. No, I'm saying well, I'm throwing you up in there too, man. Uh, you're an Israelite too. You may have to take. Like we all yeah, of may course. have to take that onus. I mean, who knows where hell we're going to go in. Yeah. 2020 been off the chain. Yeah. And we've been prophesying this shit since 69. You know this. So yes. since 69, we've been saying these times is coming. And you see how crazy 2020 is. That's the proof Christ coming back because everything that's happening is in the scriptures. So who knows what else is in store? So y'all better gather yourselves together, O nation yeah. I desire, because who knows what's next. What's coming up, Cap? What's what's, what's going on? Any lectures? Uh, any any anything? What's, I ain't what's got new? no I know okay, Cap Desire is doing a lecture on uh, our Patreon on the whitewashing uh, he's gonna do more like we always talk about the mod whitewashing from mm. like the renaissance and stuff like that but he's mm -hmm. gonna show more of a modern type of whitewashing like simple stuff like the lone ranger okay you know okay. that was a brother right right right. The right the jack daniels that brothers drink that was right. a brother that made that and some other stuff that he's found in history right where they impersonated the like Latin, our latin brothers mm. um the hispanic brothers the gadite brothers the black so he's he's doing that me, I'm trying to debate every Christian I can find. I see that, man. A buyer yeah. serving you up some plates, boy. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to do one today, but the pastor backed out. And I'm hoping, I really would like to get to Geno Jennings. I've tried to get to him. He's talked about the Israelites. Um, I'm working with some cats, uh, some famous people behind the scenes. I don't want to scare them off, so I won't mention me. I'll tell you behind the scenes. But I'm trying to work. I really want to work towards debating Christians. I'm kind of stepping away from, like, Kim and cats because they're not really nothing christians if you notice christians have pretty much the same subject god loves everybody laws done away with immaculate conception stuff like that so some people might say it gets redundant but if you know how many christians there are there's always a new christian listening to that breakdown and if they see this past to fall and this past to fall and this past to fall and maybe that'll make them you know wake up out of sleep so oh, that's so pretty much time. all i got besides the radio show and the camps and classes we got that's what's that's what to do man well i appreciate your time oh ain't no sweat i appreciate your your appreciate oil you, man. man yeah you're gonna love it man of course. I appreciate which you one you bought me tell them which one pipe you bought me give me a pipe dream yeah. all right now <laughs> all right now you know the pipe dream will make the, the pipe dream is the only oil that i made that it took 17 oils to make so when you're wearing Pipe Dream, that's 17 different blends that I put together. It's one of a kind. Wow. So I have other fourth dimension oils that yeah. are mixed. But that one, it's 17 different oils it takes to make that pipe. All right, now. I'm going to let you know, bro. Yeah, let all me know. All right, so all praise to the Most High, man. I appreciate it, man. Y'all about to see me out, Shabrakatham. Y'all about to see me out, All praise to the Most High. Shalom, family. Shalom.